Good morning, good morning. Wendy, it was. That was what the Instagram poll, that was what was chosen on the Instagram poll. So I'm not mad about it because this is the costume that I, you know, literally bought for this year. So, haha, -ha, okay. And I'm glad too that this dress is long because it's supposed to be her, what? Yeah, it's supposed to be her nightgown. I forgot about that. Anyway, I am headed to church and I'm really glad it's not super cold this morning. Get ready, because this is year six of daily vlogging. Also, after work today, I'm gonna try to put up the inflatables that I got, just so I'm not putting them up literally on Halloween tomorrow and have them up for like 24 hours. But we shall I see. have just now realized that I accidentally left home without my purse. So that means I am not driving with my license. I'm also not driving with my inhaler, which I have decided I usually start, I will take, I will use before I go on stage because I move around so much and dance around so much just even at the beginning um it can make me out of breath super quickly because I've got that exercise induced asthma um so guess we won't be doing that today okay church went well now I'm leaving because we finished like 10 minutes early which is very good because I had been super like drizzly cold day today not super cold but it's windy so I'm very glad today is not the day for trick-or-treating for kids and I'm glad I'm inside pretty much all day writing because it's going to be very fall feel of hey, writing. say though if this is how it is all day like when I finish work I will not be putting up the inflatables today I'll be putting them up tomorrow because I do not want to be fighting to set them up in this weather. I knew I should have gone the other way um, because there is a giant train just stopped on the tracks and I can't get over to the side of the street I need to be on to get Today to my house. is like one of those days that you're just so happy to be inside on a dreary fall day. I'm so excited. You have no idea. I'm also going to make myself hot chocolate at some point while I'm working. I didn't realize that Netflix had one of the live action Scooby-Doo movies on here. So that's what I have in the background while I start work. <laughs> and I just made myself hot so chocolate. Both of the live action Scooby-Doo movies are on Netflix, which is incredible. And if you didn't know that, uh, now you know. And I think you should go watch them because they're amazing. Um, and they are literally my childhood. One is 2002. The other one's 2004. So of course I didn't watch them that young, but I do, I don't remember ever watching the first one. I remember watching the second one though. Um, anyway, I, while I'm, I've got like three more posts I need to write. It's 421. I've got like two-ish hours left of work. Um, I wanted to pop on here. I wanted to talk about, let's get vulnerable for a second here. So if you don't care, you can just skip past this clip. But I wanted to talk about how you, self-consciousness, and I'm mostly talking about here like physicality self-consciousness, like something about you physically that you are self-conscious about. I have had it over the years where like something I'm self-conscious about, I'm self-conscious about for a little bit and then it kind of not goes away, but then I become sort of self-conscious about something else. It's never something like overwhelming. It's more just every now and then I'll be like, hmm, that thing, I'm not a huge fan of, but because you know, I identify as aromantic and I've never really looked for a romantic partner. I've never really looked like there's no one that I'm trying to impress, right? Like, except for myself, that's it. So that probably helps with that. But there is one aspect, and I won't exactly say it on here. There is one aspect physically of me that in the past like year, I have become very... I'll say self-conscious of, but it's also, I just dislike it. I dislike that feature a lot. And it's hard because there is something that can be done to achieve the results I would want. But I'm also a big believer in like loving 
who you are and how you look. You know, ultimately, it is your decision what you want to do and you should love yourself regardless. But especially with this, it's like it's not it's not causing any issues. It's just me personally going, I really wish that was different. But and it's more it's me. It's me wishing it was different. It's not that anyone else has been like da 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 da. No one has said anything. It's all me in my head. But of the other than, you know, society wants to make you think something looks beautiful, something doesn't. It's just it's this one aspect of myself that I as I said, for like the past year especially, I've just been like, wow, I really do not like that part and I really wish I could you know, fix it. But as I said, it's stuck between that thing of like, I also want, I also need to learn how to love myself how I am. And, you know, physically how I am, but it's just just like, back and forth, I wouldn't do anything now. Anyway, not that I think I'd be too young to make that decision, that might be a part of it. But also just as I said, like these insecurities of mine, usually only last for like a year two years something like that and then it kind of just switches to something else I kind of just I don't know I move on and I accept that part and I'm like hey you know what can't do anything about it doesn't matter who you're trying to impress literally no one so you know move on um like when I was younger it used to be my cheeks when I you know after I hit puberty and the the chubbiness of my cheeks didn't go away it thinned out a tiny bit but not a ton And I didn't like that for a while. And then I was like, wow, I was like, you wouldn't have your dimples if you didn't have that. And so then I was like, you know, I really love, I really love my dimples. So I'm okay with that now. And now I couldn't care less about the shape of my face or how much, you know, you know, baby fat is on my face. Um, But yeah, so I know we all like we all have those things right about ourselves that we're just like, Ugh, physically, I really don't like that part of myself. And I definitely don't think you need to, like, love every single part of yourself thoroughly to, like, love yourself. You can still look in the mirror and be like, dang, I really wish that wasn't the way it was. But, hey, it is like that. We're going to go on. So, I don't know. I just wanted to come on here and talk about that because it hasn't been, it's not something I've talked about before. And I know it's something that runs through a lot of people's heads. And we all have those things about us. So, Hey, you're not alone. I have the I have it too. Going through one of those more like intense parts of it where I'm like, God. <laughs> so, yeah. I had to go down to the breaker again and flip it because it went out. Um, so that's when I realized that it ha- is going to rain for the entirety of the night and until about 3 p.m. tomorrow. So that's fun. We shall, uh, we shall, are you okay? Um, we shall see if I need to, well, I'm not going to go down there now because it's in the dark, but needless to say, if it doesn't go out before I go to sleep, I'm going to move Nola's water to one of the ones that isn't affected because I don't want it to go out during the night and then her not have so, water. So, yeah, we're we're still figuring out this whole me zooming or google meeting with the Newfoundland class on Wednesday. Um which is they're showing aces. I think I mentioned that before. But I'll be in Los Angeles. So, this is the only time zone that actually theirs is the only time zone that does things in 30 minute increments instead of an hour. So, 11:30 their time is 7 a.m. in Los Angeles. (laughs) So I will be waking up at like 6.45 to very quickly brush my teeth, make sure my hair looks okay, and probably slip into like the shirt that I'll be wearing that day. And other than that, yeah, yeah, that'll be very early. (laughs) So I feel bad. I'm gonna have to see if I can like go somewhere else so my mom doesn't have to wake up because I don't want to wake her up that early. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, I'll figure something out. Anyway, but I want to talk to them. So I will gladly wake up at 6.45 in the morning. I can't believe they're even showing it. Like, that's so exciting. Meanwhile, I just messaged Emmy and AJ because I said, hey, they would love for you guys to be there too. For them, it's 9 a.m. So (laughs) that's much better than 7. But 
you know, as I said, I, I want to do well, it. Well, because it, well, even if I, well, no, because if I was here, I would be, if they had done it last week, I would have been working at the bakery. Like I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So even though, yes, it means I'm going to have to wake up early, which I will say though, I wonder if the time difference would kind of wake me up around that time anyway, because I can't sleep past like 8.30 here. And so that would be, what is that? 8.30 in Los Angeles is 5.30 there. I doubt that'll happen because I'll have flown and stuff. So I am going to try to sleep on the flight. That's for sure. Um, Cause it's like a four and a half hour flight. So I'm going across the country. Um, but yeah, so I'm definitely going to try to sleep on the plane because I arrive in LA at like 10 p.m. or so because the plane takes off from here at like 8. So by the time I get there, it'll feel like midnight. So <laughs> it might actually be 6.30 because I'm checking now if they want me just for the Q&A section or if they want me starting at the very beginning of the hour, which is for me would be 6.30 for them as 11 instead of coming on at 11 30 and that's seven for me that makes sense yeah time zones are weird um so anyway still very excited as I said the time zone might screw me up anyway I might be awake at 5 30 in the morning because I'm like this feels like 8 30 to me I have no idea I'm hoping not as I said my big thing is I really am hoping to sleep on the plane I think that won't be a problem at least probably not for like the second half of it because, as I said, it'll feel like midnight when I land. So once I'm, like, two hours into the flight, it, you know, feels like 10, 10.30. I might be like, mm. um, But I will definitely be trying to sleep. Not too much, so I can still sleep. Because I'm still going to get a decent amount of sleep. That is the one good thing. So if I land and if I'm, like, going to bed by, like, 11.30 and waking up at 6.15, I guess, that's... 11, 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to, That's like six and a half, six hours, 45 minutes. It's not terrible, especially because the next day, you know, I can sleep, you know, I can not sleep in, but I can go to bed early at like, you know, 10 o'clock and wake up at 7.30 or 8, you know, so it's possible. It's fine. The comedy in this book, which is Love and Gelato, is so funny. The writing is phenomenal. Okay, I'm putting this clip, I just ended the vlog, but I need to put this clip before it. So this isn't going to make any sense until you see the next clip after. I talk about the next book. I just have to say, I this isn't one book. It's two. There's one title here and one title here. So it's actually the first book and the sequel in one. So it's after midnight, but I really wanted to finish that book. And I did. It was so good. Um, as I said, dialogue especially was just amazing had me genuinely laughing out loud at certain points um sorry my ear has been doing this thing even more where it goes like staticky when I talk at like a certain volume and sometimes certain pitch um I don't really know I don't well that's been happening for a little while now but it's been happening more regularly so I don't know if that's an earwax thing um I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Honestly, that's what I'm hoping it is. I don't know what else it would be. And I don't want it to be anything else. Um, and it's only ever this ear. It's only ever my my left ear. Anyway, so that book was very good. There's two more books in the series that I actually ended up adding the box set to my Christmas list. Um, and I got lucky again because the next one... Now, this one might not be a standalone. Probably not. Um... But anyway, this is the next one, and it's, um, I mean, I was about to say it's right up my alley, but pretty much all of the books that I have, I don't own them, unless if I don't think I'd be interested in reading them. Um, but yeah, it's like, oh, I'm really oh. okay, um, anyway, it sounds really good, so I'm excited. Um, tomorrow I have to watch all of the films that I've been assigned for the, um, film festival that I'm judging for so that's like first thing in the morning and then I think I'm gonna start packing for well I need to also get my inflatables out I'm hoping it won't be raining in the morning so I can go and put them out there or else I might not be able to put them out there until like 3 p.m but I will put them out there because I I want I you know 
I bought them. Um, so anyway, things should be less crazy next year, I'm hoping. So, um, and I have my first two inflatables. Like, that's so fun. I grew up with inflatables in our yard for specifically Christmas, but sometimes Halloween. Um, so I love that. Anyway, um, yes. And then Halloween is, well, it's after midnight. So technically today, I don't know how many trick-or-treaters I'm going to get. I'm just excited that I, I just, I want, I want one. That's what I want, which I know there is, there's two kids, like young kids. So I think they'll come around. Um, you know, I just want to, <laughs> I just want one. Um, so, because that is a really cool feeling. Anyway, this vlog is long just because I've been sitting here talking. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.